Leicester on the road to Wembley. Liverpool looking for their ninth semi-final, and of course they beat Watford three years ago in the cup after a replay. But perhaps it's worth recording at this stage that the last time that Liverpool played a second division side in the sixth round, they were beaten. Now that was against Swansea in 1964. And the record crowd here at uh, Vicarage Road will be hoping that they'll be able to spread the news of a repeat. A lineup which shows the absence of Keith Eddy, Ray Lug wears the number four shirt, and they're sure to play at least three, if not four men up. Liverpool, of course, as usual in their all red strip, they are without Tommy Smith and Peter Thompson. Ian Callaghan, number seven shirt, plays his 49th cup time. The referee, David Smith, of Stonehouse in Gloucestershire. Liverpool to kick off. Watford in their strip. And Watford must surely know that they need a good start. They believe they have the speed to upset this uh, Liverpool side. And they're out to strike while Liverpool are still cold. And Scullion could well be the key factor behind uh, a good start for uh, Watford. Certainly if you watched uh, what Glover did for Leicester. An early touch of the ball for one of the uh, new fathers in the team, Mike Walker, whose wife gave birth to a baby last night. This is Owen. To Packer. Back again for Owen. Ron Yates coming across. He's left ending. And he's coming on. That could well have been very costly and certainly the best thing we've seen from uh, Watford yet. Ending was left on his own, hit it first time. Ron Yates over on the far side, waiting for one to be curled to him. What a good ball to Callahan. Yates is poised to come in on this. And it just failed to make the top of the stand, but he was well placed and he timed it well. Ken Furphy showing his watch to the referee. Ken Furphy on the trainer's bench. Now Callahan. And that indeed is the end of what really was a very inconclusive uh, first half. Watford promised a little bit, but in my opinion, didn't have too many men forward. But that's Stuart Scullion, who holds out the greatest hope for them in the second half. The man in front there wearing the number seven shirt. But that's the half-time situation. Watford nil, Liverpool nil. The Liverpool supporters have been a little bit uh, subdued in that first half by the uh, quality of some of the Watford attacks. And one suspects that if uh, Watford could increase their pace a little bit, they might have even greater cause to be worried. It's a bit difficult on what is a very sticky pitch, but after all, Watford have been uh, training on the sands in Jersey, so they should be more accustomed to it than perhaps Liverpool are. But they do need this greater pace. They've got round the back several times, but they haven't been able to make it pay, and they've allowed defenders to get cover. Here's Scullion again. It's such a good first half, Stuart Scullion. And Ross clears it, but uh, Liverpool in some trouble there. The question of getting it out of play so that they could uh, reorganize their line. Evans! And that's the best shot we've seen from Liverpool from Alan Evans. Really got hold of it. Walker watched it all the way to put it over the top. Martin John with space. To Graham, this is promising! Reached down that right hand did Mike Walker. Good stuff by Liverpool, by St. John and by Graham. But this man stopped them in their tracks just. Scullion. Lug. Nicely through the legs of Wall. Ending!
the linesman was right to run back to the halfway line clearly Endy is onside as the pass is played to him but what about Tommy Lawrence he gets both hands to the ball so should he have saved it or was the header too powerful I'll settle for the header You won't want to see Tom Waddy cross the halfway line in this situation. Scullion, he's got help outside, he's got two the other way. And he's coming in again. And he's beginning to make his presence felt. Garbutt, and it's a two against two situation. And an absolute block tackle from Ron Yates. And he got mud in the eye from somewhere, I wouldn't like to say where. But he did that tackle because he knew perfectly well that if he didn't stop Garbett, Garbett was clear. And the referee reading the right attack to both the blocker and the man who may well have uh, pushed the mud that way. Indeed. Foul by St. John. The clearest foul that we've seen all the afternoon. But you'd never know it from that expression. The daggers would help. They were on Liverpool side then. Very lucky rebound and good covering by Tommy Lawrence. Which is up the shorts in the process. Andy now in a one against one situation. He's inside his man. He could show the whole thing up. Very quickly off his line by Lawrence, saved the situation. Without that, Liverpool's chance would have died completely. We've had a minute of injury time. Liverpool going forward again. St. John to Hughes. Good try one end and Hughes. All oh, over the top by Jeff Strong. Taking it out again now. Checking his watch again. But the sands of time surely have run out for Liverpool. Lawler coming in. Garbutt. Scullion. We've had two minutes of injury time and that's handball by Wall. Free kick quickly taken. Scullion just running it into the corner. That's a goal kick. Bit of gamesmanship there. There's no doubt about that. But when you've never been in a semi-final in your life, surely you can excuse it. Really is an eternity for what for these closing seconds. Mr. Smith looks at his watch again. I'm not quite sure at this stage whether it's elation or agony. They're all asking Mr. Smith whether his watch is okay. What the players? He has three minutes of injury time. Williams coming forward for Watford. This is Williams. Endin is in the middle. Away by Ron Yates. Risk it. Starbuck trying again. And Lawrence could have done nothing about that. The Watford crowd absolutely on their toes demanding this final whistle and it still doesn't come. Three and a half minutes now of injury time. Scullion, the man perhaps who started it all in the first half. Garbett. And the whistle now has come. Watford have made history. They are in the semi-final for the first time ever. Photographers all around Ken Berkeley, the supporters going mad, the field, an absolute mass of supporters running on. Ken Berkeley really must be the most delighted man here at Vicarage Road. The goal that mattered coming from Barry Endine in the 64th minute, a goal which uh, takes Watford into.
into the semi-final round for the first time ever and you can see from the way these supporters are running on the field what they think of it here about a record crowd a record receipt and as far as Watford are concerned a record result they are absolutely